so we recently started working on some live river edge floating shelves and soon after we realized that the whole process is not going to be easy as it seems. As we dodged through a bunch of issues initially, we eventually got stuck right in the middle of the project as we needed to plan the surface of our boards. The problem is that we don't have a surface planner and the local shop that owns one doesn't know how to operate it properly. Now we don't have any plans to drone those beautiful boards that we have worked so hard for and thus we have decided to build a manual milling machine that can also work as a surface planner to get this job done. The whole structure including the rails for all three axes is going to be built by using those aluminium tubing and MDF sheet that we have got from our local hardware store. So time to chop some tubes. Now for sliding mechanism we are going to use 10 mm thick MDF sheet that's already cut down to the required width. For sure MDF isn't the perfect material for this job but it's ideal for prototyping and once we'll finalize the design they'll soon get replaced with the 3D printed ones. Initially we planned to drive the slides on X axis using two motors mounted right in the center facing each other. But with this configuration an unbalanced force can cause one of the two slides to lag behind causing the whole assembly to stuck in between. So to deal with it we have to divide the driving force equally and for that we need to rearrange the motors on each end. Thank you. 
here i would love to thank glc pcb for making this project possible well they are one of the largest pcb manufacturers in china and with the finest quality delivered right at your doorstep at an amazing price so guys be sure to check out their website to order your customized printed circuit boards the process is pretty much straightforward as shown on their website the link to that is in the description given below For the router we are going to use an inrunner brushless motor that's fitted with an end mill cutter and to drive it we are going to use a 30M ESC along with a servo tester to control the speed of the motor. Besides that we have used 3 DPDT switches to manually control the movement of all 3 axes. Now with that being done it was time to test things out. At first, the machine started milling the board perfectly but soon after the ESC fried as there was nothing to keep it cool. So we replaced it with another one that has integrated cooling system and things worked out as expected. Obviously, there is a room for a bunch of improvements but we'll get to that in another project video. Besides that, for more information about this project, do visit the Instructables blog spot. The link is in the description given below.